if there's one thing that I can't wait to just get over and done with is this E30 build. And the reason for that is because I've been neglecting my other cars. And I mean, this car right now that I'm in my workhorse is so dirty. I haven't seen it so dirty in a very long time. Let me actually show you what I'm talking about. I mean, look at how dirty it is. Look at the wheels. Ay, ay, ay. Anyway, let's go do something about it. So guys, by chance, I actually came across this car wash here. It's a cave car wash. <laughs> Very nice concept here. You actually take your car into like a cave. So I was actually on my way to Gold Wagon to go get the accelerator cable accelerator cable for the e30 so the accelerator cable on there is uh, not good so i had to get that and fortunately enough they have one left here at golf 410 i think yeah so i was actually planning on going there and then taking the car for a wash but then i'm gonna be killing two birds with one stone so here's a spot Hey guys, so the saga continues. Basically, I drove all this way just to bring the car for a wash. And what I wanted was an accelerator cable. I called in, they said they have in stock. So I went to call back in Weinberg. I get the, I pay. And 10 minutes later, they tell me that the uh, system showed that there were three in stock, but they don't have in stock. And I'm gonna get a refund. I'm like, I didn't want a refund, I want the, the cable. But anyway, now I have to drive all the way to Eden Vale. Could have just went directly there. So it's basically me going out of the house just to go get the car washed. So I guess the E30 Chronicles continue because, yeah, I haven't been going to spare shops in a very long time until I got the E30. And it's just reminding me of how things is with these older cars. So you must just be willing to be driving around, look for parts and all of that. So yeah, that's what it is. Nonetheless, the car is nice and clean now. So uh, I'm very hungry. So I guess now I'm just gonna go and try and go get something to eat. Yeah. You know, with the current petrol prices, I'm sure we would all appreciate just uh, that people just make sure that when we make the phone call and ask for something that they actually have it in stock because now driving 40 kilometers away to be told that they don't have something in stock which you were told that they have in stock over the phone is really not cool. So anyway, don't like ranting and going on and on about such things but they really just to put it lightly irritate me uh, Koslo coke we don't want to get the windows dirty there eh? so that's why I'm opening the door because I know you guys next to you will have to oh, fix the window. You buying chicken licking. Why don't you take that money and fix the window? <laughs> From a cave car wash to a cave drive through
catch up. Thank you. Right, let's go. And there we go. Should open. Open, open, open. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, my good sir. Thank you. Thank you, my good sir. Just had to go past the garage, pour some petrol because there's never a time where you're gonna be driving this car and you don't, you're not gonna go past the garage. So, yep. Okay, guys, so over there we have the Soweto Twin Towers in Orlando. If you're looking to bungee jump, that's the place to go. Okay, guys, eventually I'm gonna be calling it a day, but before I do that, I just thought I uh, should take some pics of my workhorse, you know, for the gram. Yeah, anyway, she's nice and clean and all. So, when she th just thought about it that I've actually never made a video about why I actually love the V8. And I think I'm gonna be doing that really, really soon because people are always asking me why a V8 uh, and all. No, technology is not there. Uh, they're all cars, but they sound proper. And I really think that this is the last of these cars and even this one even worse like i mean this car the last model of the ss's in south africa was back in 2013 so i guess if you've got the ssvs uh if you can keep it then definitely i really think that's going to be a collector's in the near future i mean i mean look at this i mean look at this right Old school, but still looks good.